All right, hi there. I'm Marco Sullivan, former World Cup downhill racer and founder of American Downhiller Ski Camps. And we're here today to talk about really good tuck position or good aerodynamic position in speed. And as our model, we have David Lawrence, a Squaw Valley ski racer. Hello. And uh, David, why don't you just show us your tuck when you think of a fast position. All right, so we can see David immediately gets right down in as low as he can get. He's really trying to make a, a aerodynamic shape that's gonna cut through the wind. So he's got a nice flat back. His hands are, are right in front of his face. I would have a little issue with that because he's looking right at the ground. So, <laughs> so he might not be able to see where he's going. Ideally, probably looking up, looking right on the top of your goggles when you're in your tuck but he's got his hands in a good, comfortable spot, legs about hip width apart. And once we change angles, we'll be able to see kind of how he's aerodynamic from a frontal, uh, a front shot, frontal shot. <laughs> All right, so David has his elbows, when he's in his tuck, are lined up with his knees. So we want the elbows to be lined up with the knees or inside because as soon as his elbows come outside the knee, you're creating a huge wall for air to hit. So you keep that elbow in, the air can really flow right around his body. So here, David is in his low tuck, but in a course, if he sees a big turn coming or sees some terrain where he needs to have more movement in his legs, he'll move up into the high tuck. Where you can see his hands are still staying out front and aerodynamic, but now he's able to really have more flexibility, more movement in the legs to deal with terrain, but really trying to keep that back flat and the hands out front to break the wind. All right, here's David from the side angle in a low tuck and now moving up into the high tuck. Hands stay forward, back stays relatively flat, as flat as he can be, and he's still breaking the wind with the hands, just extending the legs so he's got more range of motion there and also making sure he's moving forward into oncoming terrain. Okay. All right, so here David is in his good tuck with his head down, hands right up under his chin. Something I see with kids sometimes, it's what we call a scoop tuck. When the head is looking up to see where we're going and you have a big bucket here to catch the wind. David, can you demonstrate that? There you go, so now that nice aerodynamic shape is gone now he's got a big block here for the wind to go so that's not good all right so we have David is going to demonstrate moving from his low tuck into the high tuck and the proper way to do it so he sees approaching terrain he needs to really get up a little bit he keeps the hands up right up front to break the wind and he's staying aerodynamic even though now he has a lot more movement with his legs so go back down, David. A common mistake we see is when a racer sees approaching terrain, he'll come up and really prepare like that, and now he has a huge wall for the wind to hit. Just remember, when you're coming into the high tuck, keep those hands forward to break the wind. <laughs> 